Chop, chop, chopping it up. It's the Rock Boss Bully, Seagull Capone, Mayor of Moguls, back up in here. What up, though? Another week, we get it in. Chop it up, Reality Speaks Podcast 101. It's Thursday, of course. Man, we is going in. <laughs> I'm feeling this, and it's helping me really just understand my calling. And that's the, the first thing I just want to go off of this week is just people that don't understand what they was designed to do and placed on this earth, the reason you was created, and you've either never experienced what it, what that knowledge can do for you, or you refusing to be what God called you to be. And giving up on yourself is one of the most critical things you can do in life. Like, it will destroy you, and it just shortchanges your whole destiny. So every day that I wake up, I try to get more in tune with God and more in tune with my myself so I can know exactly how I'm supposed to operate every day and to know that I got this favor of God and I've overcome so much that at one point I never believed I could achieve. It's just an amazing and uplifting feeling that I want to share with the world. I want to share this with y'all because the man behind the testimony is full of so much passion and so much emotional intensity on making impact and change in somebody else who might be close to falling off the deep end in their life. So my prayers is up to y'all and take this journey with me. That's why I want this to be a one-on-one intimate conversation with the world because God has given me this calling and giving me this direction that I need to put my voice out there. I need to put my visuals out there. I need to build this community. I need to lead men, women, and children to a better place because I'm one of the rare few men out here that's passionate about doing this with the knowledge, the experience, the creativity, and the testimonies in order to lead people and help make a change and an impact, not only in the community, but in the world itself, you know? So we just gonna open it up like that, you know? So I'm gonna just start off on that, you know? I've been, we go through challenges every week, week to week, you know? You never know what you gotta report. My heart stay heavy because people dying in the city left and right, dying in the music business, the entertainment business. Everything that I put my heart on my sleeve for will always be tested. And death is so close. It's such a, a humble experience for most because you just get to see how vulnerable and how precious life is. So I've been asking people, why would you want to live one day, one second in misery? If you having a bad day, this could be your last day. Why would you take the chance of having a bad day on your last day? That's not something that no human being deserves. So I feel like, especially if it's connected to other people, we need to take ourselves out of this area and stop allowing people to affect us like this. So we got to get into mind over matter. I think I'm going to do a podcast on that where I really dig down into what goes through our mind when we allow other people to affect us with their opinions, with their negative energy, with their deceit, their lies, their bullshit. You know, we got to learn to separate and cut that shit off because your poison, as I, I was telling somebody, your poison can be right here at the top of your arms. You got perfect fingers though. You want these fingers so bad that you're not even thinking about what it would be like to live without your arm. But the arm is poisoned, it's dead. You need to cut that dead shit off. And hey, sacrificing a finger versus the poison spreading through your whole body, you it's a give or take world, you know? So don't never be afraid to lose a finger when your whole arm is already dead. And you know, the metaphor that I got from that, like I said, don't let people poison your mind and affect your spirit so much through 
using other things as vessels or other people like you know like a father and a baby mama situation the kid is is basically the finger because she don't have the ability to communicate by herself walk around with a cell phone we can just have one-on-one -on -one conversation until that kid is grown you still have to go through the other parent you have to go through the mama to get to the child so that's like the extension of the arm down to the finger i love my child but i'm not gonna allow my baby mamas to destroy me stand in my way stop my mission and my real goal to not only save my own kids but every kid i possibly can every human being i can possibly affect and change in this world that's for a bigger mission than me worrying about one kid over one poison female that just don't never want to see me rise. So I'm cutting the whole fucking arm off. And I'm sorry that I gotta lose the fingers along to it, but it's attached to the arm. You get me? You feel me? Maybe you don't. Chime in. Send me some comments. We, we could do another podcast on that. You know, I could explain it further something, but man, it's just crazy. Because people will hey go until they suck you dry, leave you with nothing if you allow them. Misery really, truly does love company. But this is Chop It Up, Reality Speaks Podcast 101. I am your host, Rock Ball Seagull Capone. We're going to take a break and come back and chop, chop, chop it up. It once birthed me. It cursed me. It hurt me. Got me to fall in love with when the bell come up, I'ma kiss that ass goodbye Say hello, divorce, it's time to fly Can't let life pass me by, no more tears to cry God said it's better days for all the pain inside When the bell come up, I'ma kiss that ass goodbye Say hello, divorce, it's time to fly Can't let life pass me by, no more tears to cry God said it's better days for all the pain inside When I was first introduced to you Never knew the truth and you, the abuse you do How much you got me used to you Parental views were screw. I thought your drugs gave me me soul food, blowing collard greens on you and drinking too, trying to escape the way the money seduced, all the honeys I screw, now it seems I'm cheating on you cause I found something to do, you kept me on razor blade, chopping it up in your kitchen like a Pyrex, rocking it up, I about to wake up and go to sleep with you, hated to love it, I'm deep in you, got people in my ear asking why I even speak with you, cause they don't understand nothing about me, how lonely this world is without something complete, for the game I spit I should charge a monthly fee, eating but still hungry, what can quiet my stomach rumbling? Is this a reception or a recession? On my Tupac, wondering heaven got a ghetto and do dogs get his blessing. When the come up, I'ma kiss that ass goodbye. Say hello, divorce, it's time to fly. Can't let life pass me by, no more tears to cry. God said it's better days for all the pain inside. When the bell come up, I'ma kiss that ass goodbye. Say hello, divorce, it's time to fly. Can't let life pass me by, no more tears to cry. God said it's better days for all the pain inside. Look in your eyes, you showed me a story that's lie. Said I can hide the Throwing the crown and all of the pies Didn't know they jealousy would eat me alive But real niggas been died Can't trust these streets, the freaks, arts, and ease I put my heart on my sleeve Once turned to grief I was living through your luxury Backstabbers convinced until you pierced with the cutlery Then that's karma, being a bitter self Nothing sweet, everybody want a piece Cause the best things in life cost Nothing's free, young woman something of a dream Distracted by the cream, supplying fiends Filling they fans of me Is it the music in me or the exclusive beats Why I found the music in the streets, stuck in the Rubik's Cube, I can't cheat, how can I divorce who I am when I vow to be me, the Zar woke up and realized he's still king, block gotta be my queen, when the bell come up, I'ma kiss that ass goodbye, say hello, divorce, it's time to fly, can't let life pass me by, no more tears to cry, God said it's better days for all the pain inside, when the bell come up, I'ma kiss that ass goodbye, say hello, divorce, it's time to fly, can't let life pass me by, no more tears to cry, God said it's better days for all the pain Pain the side ah.
I'm just cooking the load, cook the pot off the stove. Now I look to the road, just to run up the dough. Run up Take the, the city and put it on. My movement is strong. Get you used to this life, then we moving along. I'm just cooking the load, cook the pot off the stove. Now I look to the road, just to run up the dough. Run up Take the, the city and put it on. Now my movement is strong. Get you used to this life, then we moving along. I promise I'm a continent's flawless. I do a gorgeous bitch crawling across an ottoman, driving the stick of real sportsman. Jet lag, she got bagged in the cool oh, Baby, right, too man. cute, I call her jungle juice Pineapple fruit, I'm just watching what that peach do Guilty of the Gucci and she liking the speech too Whatever I ice is rose gold or deep blue Clear as fuck, I'm a see through Debonair, GQ, that's 3D Ooh. Mommy, how you like it? I'm a D-boy And D-boy's about grinding Look across the atlas, bustle for the cabbage Gotta be a savage Keep a higher wins, the loss is average If it's false, I can't back it I can't find I'm not dropping a hot album When I'm talking today they shit with yesterday status Yo oh, geez, they really know me for the madness They really don't know me if they owe me one damn cent I ain't pop up in this bitch by accident This was actually meant I'm cooking the load, cook the pot off the stove I look to the road just to run up the dough Run up Take the dough. city and put it on My movement is strong Get you used to this life, then we moving along I'm just cooking the load, cook the pot off the stove I look to the road just to run up the dough Run up Take the city and put it on My Strong. Get you used to this life, then we moving along. Make the money work for me, my hands is rinsed on some gang gang shit. I can get you done by a kid. If it sounds good to them, you can run up your chips. If you talk real slick, you can run in a bitch. A few options, number one choices, never think with your dick. A bitch will get you pink slipped and clipped in a minute. Remember, legal tender get you through the coldest winter. Feeling like billionaire weather. A money blizzard, a classic. It's black and white, first color picture. Balance myself on the scale, I'm off the rick Then my music make the ground shake Soundscapes are ground break Put out nothing but sweet shit That pound cake, that sweet shit That sound great, that weak shit ain't bout name She don't like a cheapskate Now I'm in line to clown dates Then walk the thin line The nigga you love to hate Keep talking mad, made of everything great Keep fucking minds, those who inquire is made I'm just cooking the load Cook the pot off the stove Now I look to the road Just to run up the dough Run up the dough Take the city and put it on My movement is strong Used to this life, then we moving along. I'm just cooking the load, cook the pot off the stove. Now I look to the road, just to run up the dough. Run up take the, the city and put it on. Put it I'm on. moving the strong. Get you used to this life, then we moving along. I can hype up the hype up, put the grind inside the grinder, the light to the light of the fire, I got that fire boy, drive up a high, or I can fire the toy, rebuild if destroy, fit for any job, I learned to employ the boss sauce, cross me and get knocked off, the toss cost, knock me and get crossed off, let's pop off, rock with the hall, rock with the soft, I got bars, move bras in the clubs, move bras in they scrubs, she wouldn't want to be any other place in the world, then bragging on my BBC, to a girl, so I'm a touchdown in the city, tell a friend, bring a friend, I got the boys with me, we Flicking and signing titties, write my hotel number on the Benji. Blindfolded like Kenji, then Jones are like Quincy. Off the wall, thriller, dangerous. My history is invincible. This is it, follow the catalog, and after I'm gone, you can rap along. Yeah, the 
go get her. Niggas be faking in they rhymes, I'm a gorilla. They call me dagger, nigga. I never go scissors. Moscato, any sipper. Hell yeah, I love the liquor. Now nah, that's a fucked up drink, but I just love the mixture. This verse just called AIDS, cause man, I'm feeling sicker. Hold on, chill, dude, and don't you fucking speak, nigga. Y'all do seven days, a bunch of fucking weak niggas. I'm a lyricist, and y'all ain't spitting shit. Your face full of blood, and your mouth is on the period. I'm a street nigga, I ain't never fearing shit You ain't no soldier boy, you a pretty girl fatty bitch Straight up comedy, but I ain't on no laughing shit I'm married to the block, but mama raised a bastard kid Y'all niggas small talk, y'all niggas just be acting big But I ain't mad, the only thing I gotta ask is What the fuck is y'all saying? What the fuck is y'all thinking? What the fuck is y'all smoking? What the fuck is y'all drinking? Niggas wanna be, make his body start leaking Saying that they hard, and why the fuck is y'all creeping? I'ma pop this bitch, I'ma pop this bitch Butterfingers when I drop this bitch yeah. You know me, man, I'm out getting rich I'm still hating on the nigga here Cop this shit, yeah Alright, motherfuckers, y'all just made me mad as fuck Y'all niggas wasn't hard until you went and got tatted up Dang. And now y'all mad at me? Why? Because I'm getting paid You okay. fuckers have to move to Georgia Now you wanna think you brave You can't teach me shit, nigga, I'ma misbehave You sitting on the bleachers while I'm standing on the center stage You looking nervous, nigga, why the fuck you so afraid? Red and right stripes on you, sweeter than a candy cane Bitch, you gay, talking gangster, but you swing that way My chopper going block a block a block that's out of metal spray Sounding like you rock a block a block a Put your land away and stay going to church And keep praying for some better days I'ma lay you down, I'm about to put your bed away No territory Yeah, that's what you better say I'm on some blue cross, y'all just on some Medicaid I send it straight to your house, and this is what the letters what say What the fuck is y'all saying? What the fuck is y'all thinking? What the fuck is y'all smoking? What the fuck is y'all drinking? Drinkin'. Niggas wanna be, make his body start leaking Saying that they are, then why the fuck is y'all creeping? I'ma yeah. rock this bitch, I'ma yeah. rock this bitch yeah. Must have had butterfingers when I rock this bitch yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. me, man, I'm out getting rich I'm still yeah. hating on the nigga here Cop this shit, yeah 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 Chop, chop, chopping it up It's the Rock Boss Bully, see Capone, we back I hate this uh, section of my show sometimes because it just really gets me sad when you live in one of the first or second worst places in the whole country. And I got to report things on serial killers and rapists and the murders that's just going around, people killing themselves. It's just like such a poison and negative environment that we've been born, raised, and grown of cu accustomed to. You know, like you turn on your TV, you're gonna be having the best day. You know, just an example of what's going on here right now as we speak. You know, you go pick up some food, pull up in a county island, and you see somebody. Somebody was arguing in a county island, and came back and shot it up over some fucking fried mushrooms that the Coney Island didn't have. Not the employees fault because they don't do inventory and buy the things that the restaurant needs. They just cooking it and serving it and servicing the people. So the customer comes in with a fucking attitude over the fact that they didn't have no fried mushrooms and shot some people, shot the, shot the damn Coney Island. So for everybody that was already in there waiting to get their food or whatever, they potentially was in danger or if you pulled in the parking lot and witnessed it or rode past it and witnessed it, you still could be in danger. So like I said, it's, it's tough sometimes just for me to want to get up and go outside because that's how dangerous it is and that's how precious and quick life can be took away. And I just feel like you know, that's bullshit that your parents or any parent would put their kids in an environment like this and be satisfied with raising them here and not trying to elevate your mind and elevate your spirit so you can put your kids in some better soil. Y'all abusing y'all seeds just by allowing them to grow up and see this shit. And I'm even ashamed as a parent 
that I have to sit here and say I got grown kids that just grown accustomed to this shit too. And that's why our kids is out of control because I'm pretty sure the people that did that was some young motherfuckers because I just don't. I mean, it's just so ignorant and so stupid as to how do you even start arguing over a place that just don't got what you want. It's about 50 motherfucking Coney Islands in this one little city. It's almost one on every corner on every main street. Go to the next one, motherfuckers. Was it what the fuck is wrong with y'all? That's crazy. You endangering lives of other people on top of it. It's no courtesy, no hospitality, no drive, no give a fuck, no no goodwill here. And I'm just I, I'm tired of it. I'm begging you, Lord, to get me and my peoples out of this. Change our mentality from even being entertained by this, please. But on a lighter note, you know, like I said basketball relates so much to life. It's my crest on life. You know, I bounced around a lot and always tried to take my shot. Rather somebody was trying to block my blessings or not. And I feel like I dribbled through and I got through a lot to be able to sit here with y'all every week and give y'all some of my spirit, some of my heart, some of my guidance, some of my leadership. You know, I hope y'all enjoyed the last podcast that I did on that. And as you see, you can donate, you can sponsor, invest in the show, get get at me through PayPal, Cash App, my emails, follow me on all social media sites, Single Capone, of course. Um, my Instagram is the Czar underscore Siegel Capone and follow follow my work and just continue to chop it up with me stay in the loop you know so the draft went down you know in this past week or so draft went down Zion, Ja Morant and RJ Barrett all went in a natural order where people thought they was gonna go and they predicted to be the top prospects that's really ready to transition their game from college on to the pros and of course Zion is the hype biggest probably superstar hype they done had since LeBron that's being coached and bred to be the face of the league one day and of course Luckily, Blessings came to the Pelicans and he went first to the Pelicans. Uh, John Morant went to the Memphis Grizzlies and they traded Mike Conley and finally ended his era, traded him to Utah. And now Morant get to step in and take over that position at point guard, so we'll see. And then of course, RJ Barrett is the biggest draft pick the Knicks didn't have since Patrick Ewing. And he's supposed to come in and be a superstar player, which should transition to somebody still ending up in New York with them and they possibly be in a playoff team. The Hawks stole a lot of good pieces out of the draft. They got DeAndre Hunter out of the Lakers trade with the Pelicans for Anthony Davis. They they moved up in the draft and got him and they end up grabbing Cam Reddish. So to put them two together with Trey Young and whatever other pieces they gonna put around, Atlanta really building themselves for a comeback too, man. It's just gonna be exciting to see what this draft class and this year do, you know, with the Lakers. Like I said, we got Anthony Davis now. So it's it's just getting more and more intensified and deeper every day. Even today I just seen they just cleared the enough salary cap to possibly bring in another star or definitely fill this roster with balance for the bench and everything going into next year. So shout out to LA. Hey, it's showtime again. And this is going to be a year that I'm not going to do no LeBron hating or really I it's not even hating. You know, it's a lot of facts that I drop about him being overhyped and things. But now he's going to have a team around him, probably the best one he's had in his career, to overlook his deficiencies and still just honor him for being a great player. I never thought he wasn't great. I just don't think he's great enough to be compared to the all-time great of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. But other than that, you know, the awards came out. Giannis got the MVP. And man, 
y'all should YouTube or wherever y'all streaming at and go look at his acceptance speech. And that's where my spirit comes from. That's where inspiration comes from when I get to see stuff like that and see real men break down and get emotional and let them tears go because he came from humble beginnings and he honored God and he understand the, the trials and tribulations that he overcame to still be passionate and accomplish his goal. And seeing him stand up there to get that award, knowing he, he wanted the MVP, it was just like me going to school and getting my two diplomas after dropping out and being a parent and all the stuff I went through. Could have lost my life or went to jail. I got two certifications as a professional businessman now. And I'm going to continue moving forward as well. Just like he said, I want the championship. I want to pour champagne on myself because I know I'm a winner. And ain't nobody ever going to take that or stand in the way of that. And I encourage everybody to feel confident enough to say that about themselves as well. Luka Dottic, uh, he was the rookie of the year. Pascal Siakam was a uh, most improved player. Lou Williams, shout out, the best six man ever. He, he got his again. And I think the biggest water tonight and one of the highlights of last season was the fact that D Rose is back and I'm hoping he go to one of my favorite teams or something and continue his career or get to compete for a championship. The boy still got dry, he still got play in him, and he scored a 50 point game, the highest of his career, which was a definite bounce back to one of his best seasons since he overcame all the injuries that he had been through and people writing him off. And he also cried on air and got emotional as well because it's okay for real men to shed tears. We, we feel y'all pain <laughs> and we go through the same things. We are human and it's not a, a female or a softer version of a man that makes him or allows him to cry. And some of the strongest men are the ones who aren't ashamed or embarrassed about crying. So shout out to that. and. Definitely, like I said, basketball relates to life and I follow it closely and I'm excited about this next season. The year going fast as hell, so it's coming sooner than we think. And just stay tuned with me. We can talk shit about sports. We can talk shit about politics, about life, religion, everything right here in this form. Chop it up. Reality Speaks, baby. Podcast one-on-one Thursday. I'm going to take a break and we'll be back. You know it. I'm trying to sell the 18, nigga. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's only 12 o'clock yeah. in the evening. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. I told y'all, fuck that. Uh -huh. It's crazy. Let's go. Look, look, I'm on the mission out to get it. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Got the brand new pistol. It ain't nobody fucking with me. Got the brand new cool. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. I got a bad ass bitch. It ain't nobody fucking with her. In the streets, everybody knows. Yeah. Well, real yeah. nigga. Yeah. Every time they see me get my money, go on up the liquor. I'm on a certified soldier like the nigga. Yeah. I'm drunk and sales smell smelling good. 1800, my cologne. Love me, yo, got it. I get money off my phone, I be slapping like a mug I'm stuck stacking like a mug I sell guns in the streets, I be trapping like a mug Fuckin' downtown pals, stuck in traffic like a mug Fuckin' y'all niggas broke, it's cause you slacking like a mug Yeah, I'm a motherfucker, I'ma fuck your mama dog She say she's six, so I'ma go and take the bitch from Tylenol no. I'm ballin' like a basketball, no I ain't bitch no. I just take the price and double up the tick double Catch up. me at the business game, for a seat ticket You way at the top, players looking like me I double, double whoop, I double, double whoop, bitch. bitch I ain't got a cook or run my niggas in the kitchen what? I be spitting real shit, you niggas better listen I'm out here trying to get it home, boy, I'm on a mission I'm on a mission out to get it, ain't nobody yeah. fucking with me Got the brand new pistol, it ain't nobody fucking with me Got the brand new coupe, ain't nobody fucking with me Ain't nobody fucking with me, ain't nobody fucking with me I got a badass bitch, ain't nobody, nobody fucking with her In the streets, everybody know boy, Like the nigga Percy Miller. I started getting money at the age of about 11. Push 
crushed a couple grams and then I started flipping ounces. Bought a couple pistols, you will never catch me slipping when I'm whipping in my lap. It's where it's sitting, I ain't tripping. Fuck the law, I'm screaming at until they come and get me. Money is the motive, gotta flip it while you spend it. My lab be pushing product when it ring a triple digits. He wanna, he wanna, I gotta get it, get it, get it. I'm moving for the low, that's why I kill my competition. Why you waiting on the boat? I'm trying to swim across the river. Fuck a triple beam, it's in a duffel bag or bigger. You say you push your waist, so why your body looking slimmer? I got a couple whips, this nigga pull up in a rental. Talking about me getting cake, wearing the same shit from the winner. I'm Gucci Louis Prada, truly living in the fit. Keep yeah. shit up yeah. in the kitchen, water whip it with my nigga. I'm on the missing out the kit, ain't nobody fucking with me. Got the brand new pistol, it ain't nobody fucking with me. Got the brand new coupe, ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me, ain't nobody fucking with me. I got a bad ass kid, ain't nobody fucking with me. Nigga had to holler at her. I ain't throw the Prada at nope. her. I ain't throw the Pala at nope. her. But she stripping for me like a nigga threw some dollars yeah. at her. Yeah, I do it big like when he blew up the kids. Blew the last loaf, got paid and blew the shit again. You know I be sitting on these bums, got me slipping on the pins. Double up, yeah, for real. I'm trying to fuck a couple twins. The way I present myself, I think a nigga do it major. I don't show him love, but I got a lot of flavor. Take her, swimming through the money like a Laker. She says she love it, she gon' suck it now and later. Feeling like Cheddar Boy Malik Throwing money in the air White teeth, same color as the hair of Ric Flair Training day four fives, nigga got two pair Booyah, baby! <laughs> two pair! Two pair! What the fuck you doing, sniper? What the one? Smiley, oh, they got two pair, eh? I'm on the missing, I forget it Ain't nobody fucking with Got the brand new pistol, ain't nobody fucking with me. Got the brand new coupe, ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. I got a bad ass bitch, ain't nobody fucking with her. In the streets, everybody know who a real nigga. Every time they see me guaranteed, I'm going off the liquor. I'm a certified soldier like the nigga Percy Miller. 1800 nigga, get on it to get off. 3031 mixtape nigga. You know it. Bitch. 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 Sell us bitch. Bitch. I'm out to get it. I'm out to get it. I'm out to get it. And ain't nobody fucking with me. Uh-huh. Thought you started my life. Nothing. Or no Every body. day. Can't hold me I'm back. just living my life. Yeah. Life's coming problems, you know. You gonna be hold We all gotta go through them. You know, I'll be on I'm the <laughs> I'm out here living my life. I'm, I'm just living my life. I'm out here. Uh huh. I'm just living my life. I'm just living my life. I'm out here. T W. What's good? Listen, but bad at the same time, Look, you know. I'm on the edge of the bridge, thinking I'm about jumping, ain't how I'm supposed to live. No good hoes and fake friends, I'm writing with black pens, I'm bringing back light skin. I did it bigger than my speech on the slide, I done had a few mains and more women on the side. I done kept the pocket full of chives, I done did paint jobs and slap rims on the ride. I done made heads turn and left for mad, to the point that they felt like they need to come at me with mats. Niggas get jealous, faster than the bitches, fuck around and have to tighten their ass up like suspension. They all claiming they real and it's convincing, I can't keep breathing this air, this air need to be conditioned. <laughs> I'm from the D, I'm a piston, put 30,000 pounds on my shoulders, I bet I lift it. Every day is Christmas, I am gifted. Life ain't automatically good, you gotta shift it. Wish I could go back in time, back to an infant. It's a lot of things and people that I would have done different. I wouldn't scratch you off the list before the itching. It's a crack in the ceiling, but it ain't dripping. <laughs> I hear them talking, I'm just listening. It's hot around here, but fuck it, we in the kitchen. We in the kitchen. Hmm. I'm just living my life. I'm just living my life. 
I'm just living my life. I'm just living my life. Living my life. Living my life. I'm just living my life. Chop, chop, chopping it up with the rock bar seat and capone. Man, this is my favorite part of the show. That's the shit I don't like. That's the shit I don't like. Exposing the fraudulent baby. Only I can bring it this real and give it to y'all. And this is the part where, you know, I get to show y'all that I, I be affected and I'm passionate about shit. So I ain't gonna never be a sugar coater or somebody that bite my tongue. I'm gonna expose the shit I don't like. And I know my options of dealing with the shit I don't like. You know, so this this week we just gonna expose those with the possessive and obsessive behavior. You know, it can really be a poison to they self and they don't even know it because as I said, the natural order of things is God first, then yourself. Then it's a line drawn because you and God got a one-on-one -on -one personal relationship. You have to draw the line after that. Then everybody falls into their category beneath that line. Children included, don't feel bad. They gonna grow up and be adults just like we are, as we all were kids that were spoiled and put first. And that was detrimental to our growth development and the way we process things and carry ourselves as adults to this day. But draw that line. Everybody comes up underneath that line and you it's just like having a gun line you respect that you know so you can't be obsessive and possessive over another human being another individual and most people can't even control themselves and that's why they react with anger and insecurity and jealousy and rage because they don't know how to understand and calculate the fact that you can't control this other human being that's got their own emotions, their own thoughts, their own direction, their own calling, their own will and their own fucking way to do what they want to do and be who they are. You can't control people. You can't obsess over a person or possess another person and completely maneuver their life and their will and their way. It's a fake sense of reality. So exposure, you've been exposed yourself and it's, it's, it's some fake shit to not only want to possess people like that, but doing it in negative, evil, wicked ways and causing drama and problems in that person's life when they don't allow you to control them and possess them and be obsessed over them like that. And for all the women that's throwing their lives away over a man or over their kids and all these other things that we allow to get under our skin and in our spirit to affect us and tear us down, I want to pray for you because it's sad. And you don't have to do this. So try to remember the order of God. God first, then yourself. Draw the line, then put everything else there. Mind over matter, let's elevate together and get out of this possessive and obsessive behavior. Another thing I don't fucking like is just selfish ways and the selfish thinking of people in this world that think things revolve around them and that don't care about the next person and how valuable they time, they efforts are, you know? And that's when you you call those people people that use you. They take anything from you but never give, man. You know, they just walk around with this nonchalant, I don't give a fuck attitude. It don't matter. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless of how it affects you. And basically, I'm not paying attention to you, but you giving me all your attention. And I'm taking it in, sucking it in. Like, yeah, that's good. Give me, give me, give me more, more, more until that table turn and now I ask you to do something and you can't be there or you have no will or no desire to be there. You ignoring me, you dodging me, you know. You, you fake as fuck for doing that shit and <laughs> you've been exposed and we see you motherfuckers that's like that, that that's just selfish. How could you eat steaks and not offer me a piece? 
Especially if I helped you before, you know, if I pull you up, you supposed to pull me up. And that's how we both get to the top together and stay going further than that because we pulling for each other. We got to get back to community. Everybody want their own is not the way to solve it. We can all have our own, but let's still share pieces of our ownership with other people and put on for our city, our households, our neighborhoods, our kids, ourselves, and for God, most important, because once you give all desires to him and you walk in faith, he gonna return all your desires in reality. And that's the balance of life. So make sure y'all stick to that line. <laughs> Keep your one-on-one -on -one intimate relationship with God and then you ain't gotta be exposed as being the fraudulent <laughs> and being fake for being selfish, being obsessive and obsessed with other people that you can't even live your life and focus on getting to your ownership, your destiny and your calling. This is Chop It Up Reality Speaks. I'm the Rock Boss Bully, Secret Capone, and I'll be right back. Change, nigga, keep it real, never fraud. Hope you do the same. It's 22, sprinkle down and fuck what you claim. New year, new money, better hoes. Three words for you haters. On my toes, coming to the mind of a war vet. On the real, I ain't really been a war yet. My hood is a war zone. Goons killing goons, swear that life is a bitch in a corset. I fuck a rough. Make her say my name like a tennis Make a meal just to stick it to the man Like a pendant, I'm in it In it, in it like a fetus, don't kill it Niggas talk street shit, I live it uh, Stress, but I'm blessed Know that life is a test I smoke a lot of weed cause it's hard to adjust Quit hating on us And go get money Go get money Go get money, smoke a blunt Get some head, then go get money Go get money, yeah. go get money every yeah. day. You should be thinking that go get money. Yeah. I go get money, you go get money, we yeah. go get money. Let's all get money. First thing on my mind is yeah. go get money. Yeah. Why you hate and get some money in your pockets? I got a lot of plugs, you still looking for the socket. Don't worry about what I get, cause you will never top it. I hear your boys talking, I hold money as the topic. Cause if not, I don't hear it. You should shut your fucking face. Hating ass niggas about to make me catch a case What I do all day, hard work and no play If you step between that, I'ma shoot with no J Doing shows, taking trips, in the lab, making hits Hard work pays off, now it's all making sense I stay 100 like a football field Jump back in the pocket, no football skills I just stack big deals, give the ones to the kids Local ass rappers, you ain't did what I did Shout out to Bone Thugs, do this for the Love of money and keep coming back to me, so I guess this money love me. Quit hating on us and go get money, go get money, go get money. Smoke a blunt, get some head, then go get money, go get money, go get money every day. You should be thinking that go get money, I go get money, you go get money, we go get money, let's all get money. First thing on my mind is go get money, huh? Can't sleep cause I gotta eat A lot of shit is on my mind when it's not defeat, not defeat. Money in the sky, falling on them hoes All star playing, I'm balling on them hoes Get money, flip money, eat money, shit money Trap money, strip money, good money, rent money Forget a lot of things, but never will forget money Setting up plays to get the whole click money Ain't enough paper, so the crime high. High times, cause I'd rather spend my time high. So I could catch a plane while it's flying by. So I could catch a plane while it's flying by. Envy me, give me motivation for this operation. Money talk, I can't even have a normal conversation. Cause I'm focused on my grind. Meditation, trying to get up off the ground. Levitate. Quit hating on us and go get money. Go get money. 
go get money, smoke a blunt, get some head. Then go get money, go get money, go get money every day. You should be thinking to go get money. I go get money, you go get money, we go get money. Let's all get money. First thing on my mind is go get money. Chop, chop, chopping it up. It's the Rock Boss Bully, Sigma Capone, back up in here. We're going to get into the highlight of the night, the topic, right into it, which is morals, values, and codes. I really think as a king and one of the first levels of guidance and education I need to give out is people that's living out here or don't even understand that it's most important that we keep a certain level of morals, values, and codes. So let's just break down some things I, I got for y'all tonight, a couple little notes, you know. For one, morals is, um, you know, principles of right and wrong, basically. You, you know and understand, which a lot of people don't understand that it's principles to everything. You know, so you got to be able to relate to the principles of right and wrong in order to establish your morals, you know. And it's also expressing or teaching the concept of right behavior. When you are a person of morals, that's meaning that you're established with the whole expression and teaching and knowledge of what right behavior is and how to apply it to any situation that you come into. Values is just like relative to your worth, your importance, your marriage, your honor. Yeah, so an employee is valuable to their boss. And last thing is the human code or having code. You know, it's just a, a wisdom and knowledge or of understanding of both self and others and beyond anything is self-knowledge and power over every part of your life. You know, you you got certain certain codes, certain ways, certain feelings and emotions that come within certain situations, you know. So we're going to break some more of this stuff down right quick. And let's just have a, a open discussion about some of these things. Like, let's take the code of the streets, for instance. Do you play by them? Because I got certain codes of the streets where I know, for one, if I have any conflict in this world, I'm trying to resolve the conflict. Conflict, talk for resolution, you know, before I just react or allow negative energy to bring me down to be negative with it, you know. And that's just one of my codes to the street. But I won't never let nobody disrespect my kids, disrespect my mama, take my money or my belongings, destroy my things, you know, or just cloud my airspace and personal space and disrespect me, you know. Cause you can talk behind my back, you can do social media, but face to face, right here, making me feel like you bringing negative energy right in my vicinity, and it can be life threatening or any type of physical harm towards me, then yeah, it's gonna be a problem. And that's just the code I live by. I've established that and I uphold it out here for 40 years now, you know. I got a brother code. What, what do y'all know about having a brother code? And not just saying blood brothers from DNA, but anybody that you feel close enough that could be a brother or like a brother to you. You know, but if you haven't developed one, maybe you should, and you should live by it. Like, I got a brother code myself personally, which I could be one of rare ones. I would never fuck with one of my brother's baby's mama, somebody he created a life with. It's just no desire for me to even want to follow behind that, you know? And even when it comes to being attracted to somebody, I would at least go to my brother and say, you know, if you feeling her, I'll let you get a chance with her and I'll just go to this one or something, you know, but I wouldn't come behind you 
and then still even try to pursue the same girls that you um, pursue, pursue them. And which most times our attraction should be different. We should like different things anyway. And then I'm not selfish and greedy. So I'm not trying to have them all like most men are. So that's part of the problem why I see some people don't follow or have a, a bro code, a brother code set in place is because they too greedy and selfish anyway and don't care about the next person. You know, but what do y'all value most in life? What's what's meritable and honorable to you? You know, like for me, I definitely do value my kids. I value my knowledge. I value my career. I, I value my mom for the dedication that it took for her to raise us and get us to this point. You know, I value God most importantly over any and everything and then i know now that it's important and i do value myself and like i said we in a certain order god ourselves, and then others anyway so i hope that y'all do have important values in life and that y'all continue to develop and add that value to self and to everything around you that you consider to be value. And once again, like I said, we don't always do self inventory, but do you check yourself morally? Do you have morals set in place about things that, that you do right or wrong and knowing the difference between what's right and wrong? Because that's why I'm on a mission to where I never want to have to tell a lie. I'm never going to cheat. I'm never going to do things that I know is wrong and it can hurt people or affect other people in a negative way. Those are morals now because they are beliefs that I'm putting faith in on my walk to continue accomplishing every day that I go through a trial and I'm, I'm tried on these things. These are my morals. So as you go through balancing your morals, values, and codes for yourself, you only can hope that other people have these same values and codes set up too, and how do they affect you as you interact with them every day, you know? And the, one of the most important relationships you have in life is with your mate, rather you and already made kids with them or y'all separated and got kids you know people that you you mate with and that you're attracted to it's definitely important that y'all start sharing each other's mo morals values and codes with each other and seeing how they add up during the dating process we got to get back to dating and getting to know each other and that's what I'm hoping to do with this podcast. I'm learning a lot about myself and my different values, codes, opinions, views, perspectives, and morals towards things in life that I'm sharing on an intimate level with y'all through this podcast every day. And now we get to put it all on this wooden table and see how it adds up with each other so we can continue to feed and let our, our relationship grow and hopefully uplift each other to get back to this community. You know, so I think it's very important that we weigh this up with each other on a scale and see how we can fit in what needs to be added or took away in order for our relationship to even continue to move forward, especially when we're in a loving relationship type of situation that comes with all the emotion and the trials and tribulations. That's leading us to depression and leading us to insecurity and jealousy and destroying each other's lives. And it all breaks down that we're not following the God's code, his order, his creation, his destiny and calling upon ourselves before we even go outside or try to connect with somebody else. You give off a certain energy and if your energy ain't right within self first, you can't even give it to somebody else unless you selfishly just don't care and you need to be exposed for being fake as fuck and fraudulent for being selfish obsessive and possessive in your shit it all goes together you know so check your morals at the door check your values 
and follow a right code, you know, do what's right and try not to be negative ever. You got to let negativity go and keep it moving. But we're going to continue to chop it up. And that was definitely something I want to see, see y'all comment, give me some feedback. And let's, let's, let's break it down man, and start getting to that, you know, so we can overcome the bad morals and values and codes that people break it in. It's only breaking us at the end of the day. Three hundred. Seagull Capone, Mayor of Moguls, Zars Entertainment, DMA Films, Prestigious Eye Photography, we out here. Man, the motivation for this week, I've been thinking about this real deep too, is we gotta start praising our people. See how they react when you just start giving people praising and uplifting them. You gotta motivate people to feel better than they are because you could be the healer that way. As we all need encouragement, we really do. We need some real in-depth encouragement. And we need to get together in community because one of the best things and things that's, but uh, things that's overlooked within the community is when you get to have intervention. 
because part of this part podcast is our intervention for life for, as individuals as a community so we can like i said filter out the bad shit the shit that's not supposed to be there the negative energy the only way we can drive out dark is with the light and i think we all so dark and broken and sad and misguided and not being directed to the light at the end of the tunnel we don't even believe it's a light at the end of the tunnel no more but it is god said we go have victory and he give us a chance at it every day so it's it's a it's always a brighter day and like i said if you having a bad day, why would you even want to dwell on it and continue allowing things to take you through a bad day when this could be your last day? I want to go out fulfilling my bucket list on top of the world, being the best I can be, feeling the best I can feel. Because at the end of the day, if I don't make it to the next one, I know I put my all into life, I put my all into God, and I put my all in self and that helped me become a mark something honorable to those who do love me who did believe in me who did follow me so shout out to every new subscriber new eye new ear new person new client that i obtain in my everyday walk of life you know we gotta cherish and appreciate ourselves, and that's how you get better quality out of people so the more you put into self and developing them codes and the morals and the values in order to become better in self and better with God, it's going to make other people feel that good vibe and that good energy and they cling on to you and they understand that they not there to be the leech and the obsessive possessive person over you but a helper, a nurturer, somebody that's giving that encouragement and that positive feedback to you that's keeping you established, keeping you motivated, keeping you going every day. And you, you feeling good and building up stronger off the praises that people just giving you because they see you out here busting your ass and doing the things that you can do to keep growing because you won't care how dark it get. You know it's a light at the end of the tunnel. That's the people you get that honor and that merit to. And then you honor and merit God and, and yourself for believing in it and walking in it every day because it's hard to not be like everybody else. <laughs> because the world is pressuring us to all be alike now. It's unisex everything. Be the same on everything. So we all could be brainwashed and led to death is what I believe. And I refuse to go to sleep and walk off a fucking cliff somewhere. I'm going to keep climbing this mountain and keep moving mountains and moving people and motivating and chop, chop, chop. Chopping it up, you know, like only I could do it. Reality speaks, baby. One on one. Make sure y'all stay tuned. This has been a beautiful show. I hope y'all feeling the music. I ain't really been talking about it too much, but Creme de la Creme is coming, and these these songs is me personally as well as my my local my local artists and people that I really truly fuck with and that inspire me to keep moving and keep going and this is where the substance in my music even comes from and I think that it's the favor of God that will always be over everything I touch so shout out and I invite you to give even a dollar whatever Cash App, PayPal, continue to invest in the show, invest in my web series, TV shows, and let's, let's, let's produce and get creative and let's make impact together in one community, one love, one spirit, one God, 300, chop, chop, chopping it up, and I'm out.